Well, pets can be a blast. They're good companions, they're fun to play with, but sometimes they can get a little rambunctious and hurt themselves. So then what? Well, KHQA's Lauren Khalil is live this morning at Klingle Veterinary Clinic to show us a somewhat new treatment to Quincy that might benefit your furry friends. Hey, Lauren. <laughs> Good morning, Chad. Well, when deciding to get a pet, it's not only a financial investment, but it is also an emotional investment. And when your dog gets injured, you want to make sure that they return to having the best life. Good girl. Klingel Veterinary offers a unique alternative to pain medications here in the tri-states, doggy aerobics. It can restore their, their quality of life and give them return to function much, much quicker than if it was not available. Rather than using medications to block the pain after an injury, the water treadmill actually treats the injury. Landard says the buoyancy in the water helps joints, the heated water is good for their muscles, and the resistance from the water builds their muscles. Sandy, her 13-year-old patient, had surgery for a spine injury last July. She comes for 20-minute sessions three times a week and has seen improvements to her body as a whole. She had a hind limb problem where she would kind of scuff her feet as she was walking. Now that we're in the treadmill, her gait is, her, her walking is normalized. But doggy water aerobics isn't just for dogs who have suffered from injuries. Leonard says they have also seen results for dogs who have arthritis, and it can even be helpful for puppies with a lot of energy. Another unique treatment option the clinic offers is chiropractic work. Dogs are athletes. Dogs play hard. They T-bone each other. Um, that's the worst injury you can have, just like a T-bone in a car wreck. Trimble says the procedure is almost identical to what a chiropractor would do to a person, besides not having the dog lay on a table. And when it comes to increasing the quality of life for your pet, the rehab center says these procedures are a winner. I think if this was not around and an option for her, she would not be where she is right now. Now I'm live here with Jenna, who has my dog Saber here. Now he is a puppy and she is going to bring him through an obstacle course. So whenever you're ready, bring him with the peanut butter. All right. Let's start over here, bud. Okay. I'm going to go on through. Come on. Let's go. We're going to do a little weave. Come on. Nice. Let's go back. Nice. Keep going. Keep going. Circle around. Let's go the other way. Come on. Come on. I know. We'll do that next. <laughs> and then we'll finish up here. Come on. Good boy. Yes. Nice job, buddy. Now, why is it... So, oh, he's going to take that whole special off. <laughs> why is it important to bring them around nice and slowly? Nice and slowly, we want that to happen because then they're actually concentrating and thinking about where their feet are. Mm -hmm. um, it helps with their proprioception, um, which is when they pick up each individual foot, they actually, you know, are consciously placing it down, not skipping, not jumping, and it's getting the best stuff. Uh, the best range of motion and uh, exercise. So for a puppy like Saber, why would this be beneficial to um, enhancing his life? It's going to be beneficial because you can actually do it at home. It's pretty easy to do some of the weeds and the cavalettis and a little obstacle course here and there. Um, since he's a working dog, it keeps his brain nice and, and, and focused. You know, he, he wants to do something. He needs to stay active and, and uh, keep him from getting bored. So, and it's also, you know, just, just helping out his quality of life as well. So would you say he has successfully um, accomplished uh, his rehab today? Absolutely. <laughs> he graduated from rehab. And I have a little gift for you, Saber, besides oh, Saber. all this peanut yeah. butter. Yeah. He's had treats all morning, peanut butter. Good job, buddy. And now something to make him look beautiful. <laughs> you survived rehab, Saber. Oh, well, thank you so much, Jenna. This thank was really you. awesome. Um, we'll put this nice bandana on Saber. Green, I think it is definitely his color um, to go with his nice white coat. Yeah, she's got my dog Saber in there. Now, can you tell me what exactly do you do with them in here? Well, with Saber, um, he's actually walking in the underwater treadmill <laughs> forward. Um, the underwater treadmill is a very low impact exercise for these dogs. Um, the water provides buoyancy for them. Um, it also provides resistance when they're walking through the water. Um, it's heated right now to about 92 degrees, so it feels pretty darn good to them. Um, it's, it's also good just for circulation um, and also for their, for their joints. It just, it's an overall good feeling for them. Um, seeing it's being his first time, he's actually doing pretty good. 
Um, he's all of his legs look like they're moving nicely. I'm focusing over here to see how he's actually placing his feet. And everything looks nice and even. Now, is it typically difficult to get a dog to get in the water and start moving on a treadmill? You know, it, it is different for them because their first instinct is to swim, which is kind of what Saber wanted to do <laughs> at the very beginning. Um, I use life jackets not only for the dog safety, but just so I can actually get a good hold on them as well. Um, I do get in with most dogs, which is why I wear my shorts. Um, some dogs prefer that I do stand outside the treadmill because I do distract them. Um, but you know what? They, they usually get it after about a minute or so of just being in here. And um, I think that the warm water really helps, helps relax them. I know it helps me. And what benefits does this have for dogs? Well, with Saber right now, um, him propelling through the water is just getting a really good cardiovascular workout. Um, at the same time, you know, he's, um, he's making sure that all of his feet are walking and, and placing how they're supposed to. And all of his joints are actually flexing and extending very nicely when he walks through the water. Right now, what we're doing with Saber is I have him up here on a trampoline with me. His front paws are on the trampoline and I'm giving him a treat. I'm going to shift my weight, and when I do that, that causes him to then actively shift his weight from his front feet all the way to his back feet. At the same time, I'm asking him to reach up for a treat, which is getting a great stretch of his back, an active stretch of his hind legs, and strengthening of his hind legs. So how are some of these techniques that you're working um, with Saber, how do they help his quality of life and when we're playing in the field? Now, if we're working on weight loss for Saber or mm -hmm. if we're just doing preventative measures just for his hips, due to the breed, they can have some hip issues. Mm -hmm. So if we're just doing a prevention, um, it's gonna just help build up the muscle, keep him strong, and then at home, I'll have you do some exercises too to keep him strong as well, keep him active so we don't have um, a developing problem later on down the line. Now, when he's out there running in the field, since they do have some hip problems, um, should I take it a little slower with Saber? Well, he, since he's young at this point, um, I would say go ahead and let him be a puppy. <laughs> let him run as, as much as he wants. Um, as he gets older, um, I will ask my clients just to kind of keep, keep an eye on them after they exercise. Um, maybe you can put a little ice pack to his hips just for some, some cool down, you know, and actively stretch him oh. before you go running with him. Um, just as we do before we exercise, we should warm up um, and cool down at the same time. So those are, those are two things you can do to keep him healthy. Now, is it difficult to get dogs to jump up on the trampoline? I mean, Saber loves treats, so I think that kind of motivates well, him. <laughs> yes, we have some treat motivation here. Also, you know, you have to have patience. They don't really understand what you're trying to make them do, mm -hmm. um, but if you take it very slow, um, you use patience, you can ask the owners even to come back to help if, you, if, if, if that needs to happen. Um, but I have patients now that will pull their owners through the door because they get so excited to come here and do exercises. Okay. So for example, we'll pretend like Saber is here for a weight loss program. Mm -hmm. What we would do is we would set something up a couple times a week. Um, I would work with you on your goals for him. Um, I would give you some home exercises to do at home. We would work on cardio fitness as well as just overall balance and strength. So first thing we would do is I will give you his leash oh, so I can you. actually <laughs> do my little measurement. What we do here is measure just around the chest area of the dog. That's going to give us a good number that hey. we work with. Come here, Saber. Come here, good boy. So we go up around this way. Come <laughs> here, good boy. Come here. There we go. <laughs> We're there. There we go. So right here we've got that he is 32 inches at the biggest part of his chest. So what we'll do um, according to, you know, his weight and what he should be for his age and his breed size, um, we would maybe go just to a few inches sh um, smaller than that. Mm -hmm. So basically, Whoops, Saber. come here, Saves. <laughs> come here, good boy. <laughs> I'm also going to see how his joints are feeling and how his muscles are doing too. With these bigger breeds of dogs, mm -hmm. if they are overweight, it can put a lot of extra stress on their joints, um, especially their back, their hips and their knees. And we want to avoid injury by keeping them at a healthy weight. So, let me see you sit, buddy. 
Very good. So he's got a very nice sit. Can you go down? Very nice. So he's looking very good, with just by the way that he's holding himself right there. Mm -hmm. um, I will give you this treat so you can keep his attention. Saber, come on, buddy. Stand up. So hey. right now I'm going to just kind of test to see how things feel up in his leg. This is range of motion. So we're flexing everything at this point. Everything feels good. I don't feel any popping or cracking. He's got great <laughs> hip, great hip extension. Very good, buddy. Very good. And he's very treat motivated, which helps. Yeah. A lot. <laughs>